my recording just ended but as I was saying when I was using the blue side here it wouldn't work there's a blue plastic in there and for whatever reason it wouldn't work on this side it works on this other side where there's just a normal black piece of plastic in there and um, basically it passed so all you got to do last time I will go through this process one more time when you <clears throat> when you've soft bricked your gear to you're gonna go ahead and go to sammobile.com click on the firmware page on the top there says firmwares click on firmwares go to the search bar type in all capitals sm r 380 scroll down to the United Kingdom firmware download the firmware and then once you download the firmware you're gonna go ahead and place it on your desktop so that you can work with it from your desktop here and um, let me see where is it at okay yeah here it is it's this file here it's a zip file you unzip it and it turns into a tar.md5 file. You see? You place it on your desktop. So you can see BTU stands for United Kingdom for whatever reason. That's the short uh, abbreviation for United Kingdom on these firmwares. And so there it is R8380XXUOBNE5 dash. You can read it. You can read it your damn self. So you unzip it. Once you have it unzipped and it's on your uh, desktop, see I was originally trying to root it, that's what got me to this original problem. So that's why now I, on the root folder, there's a, and actually see there's a root file in here that, now that it's empty because I took it and I placed it on my uh, desktop so that it would work. But here's Odin, run as administrator. Yes, run as administrator. Now I'm going to root my gear too right now really quickly. So you hold down the power button until it blacks out. And then keep on clicking it until it takes you to this page here. You click one down to the download. Hold it down. Now I'm on download. Now you go AP and get your root file. If you look up on YouTube how to root gear 2, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's like one of the very first top posts that come out. So you get this file right here, the root fs tar file, and you add it. And then you go ahead and start. Now I'm showing you how to root it. I'm going to the next step here because I fixed it and so like I said you're gonna have to use the United Kingdom firmware put it on your desktop download Odin 3.09 Odin 3 and um, untick actually I guess you don't have to untick auto reboot and F reset and you can go ahead and use the AP for some reason it wouldn't work like that at first for me because I was plugged in on this other wrong side of the computer that has a blue USB thing and uh, so it wasn't working and it continued not to work and every once in a while it would work that's why I was so frustrated because it, it did work um, about four or five times but very intermittently about 29 times it wouldn't work and then the 30th time it would work so now I am rooting my gear too and the re the only reason I'm rooting is so I can remove the camera sound and the um, video camera sound uh, like and the beep beep and the stupid sounds that it makes to tell the whole world that you're recording or taking pictures when you don't want people to know so there it is it's rooting right now it's resetting it on its own this is the easy part once you have the file but make sure if you do go to YouTube and you download this file um, to root your gear to that you put the file on the desktop that was my original problem that created a whole mess and two three days of me trying to figure this out now it looks like I can do it every time clockwork like so I mean I hope that these two videos that I'm gonna upload 
help explain. Maybe if some of you techies out there know exactly what happened and what it is I'm doing and why one side of the computer won't work. I'm speculating that, like I said, one is USB, uh, USB 2.0 and the other is USB 3.0 or something like that. And the speeds aren't quite fast enough for it to work or not work. So there you go. If you want to root your phone, go onto YouTube, your gear two, go onto YouTube and type in how to root gear two and the very first video up there I think from like TMS or TM something or another is the the uh, person that makes the video just follow his instructions to a T and you'll be fine you'll be able to root you'll be able to um, take away the camera sounds and everything like that it's very easy to do actually I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now watch this it's so easy once you got the files you just run a command prompt open up the remove well actually if you could see these you can just use the command prompt yourself but you can't see it all so so I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste return Copy, it says SDB, root on, copy, paste, push return, switch to root account, copy it. This is removing the camera sound. So you can see here, paste that command there, return, copy the next command, and there's a couple other steps. You're going to need a file on the, root, on the C drive of your computer. Well, that wasn't it. Was it? What the hell did I just do? Damn it. I accidentally changed the, the thing here. Oh shit. Okay, this one's the one that I was trying to copy. Copy. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna work. There we go, paste. Oh shit. We'll see if this still works. Because I kind of screwed it up a little bit. Copy the last command. Paste it. And it's that one there that you see there. Return. Hmm, now let's see if that worked. I'm kind of thinking it didn't, to be honest. Camera. Unable to use camera while charging, so I'll disconnect it. Oh, come on. Camera. See, no sound. Taking pictures, no sound. So if you YouTube how to remove shutter sound, gear two, how to remove shutter sound, and um, it'll, the guy, his videos are TM something. You'll you'll figure it out, it's not hard. And then, uh, then all you gotta do is look up how, um, how to remove 15 second limit on gear two, and you'll download these three files, uh, actually this one, it's one file that has three files in it and like I said you're gonna have to put into uh, your C drive this SDB where's it at SDB.exe 
and see the camera one hour dot wg uh, t is another file that you use to record for one hour with the gear too so there it is um, if you have any questions or comments or if I saved your butt and helped you fix your gear too uh, I hope I did and give this video a thumbs up like whatever you know subscribe even I, I got a few more other tricks up my sleeve so I hope you you've enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe and hopefully you're a lot happier after you go through this process and fix your gear too so you're welcome have a great day